So first I laid everything out in numeric order. It's numbered 1 through 10, all parts have a number, and just made things a little easier. Along with the instructions came a disclaimer that you have to use rocks or bricks, the staples, as well as the tie downs or it'll blow away or collapse. So first I just put out the base and the next step is to start attaching the uprights and you actually attach it to the side of it, the outside. I'll try to get a close up here. You take the upright and bolt it through the base on the outside. The one thing I did different was Initially, I put the nuts on the outside of the build, and you're actually supposed to put the bolts through the outside in. That way, the, the nut is on the inside. It doesn't scuff up the tarp when it goes over your framing. So I just made my way around the greenhouse, attaching the uprights, and they're pretty flimsy at first. As long as you connect it and assemble it this way, it's not too much weight where it'll fall over. You'll continue to assemble these uprights and it's not until you start attaching the door on each end is where it finally starts to get some stability. So one thing I did differently was I attached the other side of the entry, the door, and that kind of helped hold everything up. Um, it's not until you're done with each side is where they actually tell you in the instructions to attach start attaching the door framing but I did this because it helped me keep everything upright so now I'm attaching the trusses and the greenhouse is finally starting to take shape these trusses went in pretty easy It doesn't take much to maneuver, manipulate the framing. Now we're suspending a truss support all the way across the peak from one end to the greenhouse to the other. There's three different truss supports, one on each side and one at the very peak. So you can expect this build to take you about two hours, a little under two hours, and I was done assembling all the framing. But we did run into a problem. There's a 45 degree bar that really adds some stability to the framing, and it was missing. So when we were building this, we noticed that these, this part right here, all four of these were missing. This pipe goes into this pipe, so this would be a male into this female, and I had to contact the company. They sent me a new one. They sent me all four new ones in a matter of about eight days, eight or nine days. Uh, we did position this in a spot where there's wind blocks on each side. We have south facing. Today it's about four o'clock. The sun's over here. It'll go east to west this way. We put down some landscape fabric. Now, when it comes to landscaping fabric, don't go cheap because they'll sell you a landscape fabric for about half the price that is so thin. It like compares to that thin toilet paper. You want three ply or you want the thick landscaping fabric. Okay. This stuff is durable. It'll last 10 times as long and you throw down some landscape staples and everything underneath it will fry. We should have a nice floor in the greenhouse. So next, uh, I just have to try to get the top, the greenhouse 
top over the framing. So I wanted to share something that really helped the structure of this greenhouse. So we pretty much have it done. Uh, we've been planting you know, some plants around the outside of the greenhouse and just to make it look a little bit better to try to cover up those cinder blocks that hold the plastic down. We're gonna have our starters in here. We're gonna propagate our hedges, our trees, and really gonna have fun with this greenhouse. Now it does get hot. The other day, it got up to 125 on a 55 degree Fahrenheit day. It got up to 125 degrees in this greenhouse. I didn't get home in time to open up the windows and we lost about 20 corn plants. Something I wanted to share also, on the very peak of these trusses, I noticed it's a good four foot gap. And when we get rain, it'll puddle up and hold the top down. So we went and bought four three quarter inch sticks. Each one of these sticks cost us about four bucks. I cut a couple feet off and I put 90 degree elbows on the end and I zip tied them to the underside of that peak crossbar and I put them over the, the other uh, trusses. So over and under on the peak. It just made it, that, that's how it really worked out well. And I just simply zip tied it. And that was enough so when it rains, it all puddles off. Um, makes a really big difference just by spending an extra $16. Get yourself some of these PVC sticks and what a change. So about 250 bucks was what it cost for this entire setup. Counting the shelves, uh, the PVC sticks, the cinder blocks, the landscape fabric, uh, are just about 250. The thermostat, and you know, all of that was, imp was important. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. I'll answer everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.